what is obvious need to be made obvious for any progression so if I reflect my life mainly about the three books I wrote I thought my contribution if there was was on top of a western way of management there are issues that we also benefit from the eastern mainly Buddhist approach of living life so at the beginning I wasn't so sure about it but I have written three books and the first one was related to waste elimination and I call it one of the worst waste is not utilizing people's talent so the Japanese approach for that or the Eastern approach for that is to appreciate people's potential contribution collect the wisdom of people Konosuke Matsuta talked about it and Taichi Ono from Toyota whom I've met a few times and shared ideas about the Toyota production system and West Elimination and I mentioned the various ways that but as I found the worst waste is not utilizing people's talent so that's very important and the next book the second book in short for management is talking about the managerial aspect of how to incorporate people so that they are empowered with the idea of mini company or mini mini company across all the organizations so instead of just top down or siloed organization there's a customer supplier relationship that each element of the organization connect to each other so the mini company idea and grassroot management to share the information across the board what it's important is made visible red or green color coordinating all those ideas I put into the second book and that tied with the first book matches well to further empower the whole organization and in fact those two books are still selling written 40 years ago 30 years ago first book 1987 so almost 40 years ago and the third book Results from the heart was putting the ideas together within each individual that the heart is at the center so not just brain to function do whatever the brain or the mind like if we lose the connection to heart the sense of compassion or wisdom may be lost so clever guys with all the legal document and whatever loophole ways to play the game can benefit just pushing the brain's capability but if we lose the connection to heart what's there left is unbalanced society and therefore again connecting to the eastern part which I generalize but more about empowerment and inclusion of people for the happiness of the whole not just for the happiness of the special group of people that was the emphasis and looking at the world where we are now with the turbulence not just in management the application of the ideas in all aspects of human society including the political scheme legal situation and all of that it's natural that tribal mentality may pop up when you are un unsecure insecure about what's going what's happening so you may find the root of what you are good at and pursue that but if we are self-centered egocentric tribal and not looking at the relationship among all the tribes 
or the interest of certain special interest group lacking in the view of how to how everything is connected then we have this gap and I see that in the turbulent state we are in and again silent majority and we look beyond the silo beyond the self-interest ego may need to be addressed and I go back to those three books and the last one with the Dalai Lama's forward pointing and he's agreeing the idea of using the brain but at the same time listen to your heart and live with the mission heart is not easy to find if you just argue in your brain the mind has to settle to be quiet as if there's a limit in what mind can do of course you can push your limit which is the skill you may have found but if there is a stress and bias and especially tribalism and self-centered sense for the sake of your own security but with a penalty to the other world then this situation may not do well so I hate to say dualistic notion of Western and Eastern but for the sake of discussion maybe not to say Eastern but holistic view connection to the heart beyond the duality good and bad right and wrong beautiful ugly we can have the core of where we came from Let's pop up the Zen expression. Who is your true self before your parents are born? We came from the common root. That's what I see. All the living beings from the first living being appeared on earth. It progressed. DNA extended. And we came to realize that we can add a brain and our DNA get extended so that's the ability we have but we cannot lose not just the extended part of the brain but connecting to the root where we came from the heart the law of nature made us to be here instead of us self-centered being appeared all of a sudden we have the connection from the beginning or beginningless beginning of the universe and if we connect to where we came from or the species the tree of life and within human the tree of human beings in different tribalism and so forth but the root the common ground of life the creativity, the wisdom of how we can utilize the resource by combining a different element in a unique combination. That's AI. AI has the current form, has already a structure of the human intelligence as much as us individuals have the intelligence but usually we just play only a small part of it not connecting to the root connecting the deep subconscious unconsciousness that you have all the memories that exist but we don't reach out because we are busy fighting and justifying right and wrong but if we let go no mind let the system the structure of what we got with the data and the potential the life force being self-organizing of those data like a synchronicity that 
A, B, C, X, Y, Z, they're all different, but there are certain things in common. And from that, like a chat GPT as an example, or Gemini, or many others, to emulate the human intelligence to AI, artificial intelligence. And as I mentioned in the other video, human intelligence can be borrowed backward from AI understanding the structure with how it organizes the information to come up for the wisdom, we have the same because that's the way AI has been developed and progressing. So we have the structure that we can relate to each other, like an idea of co-pilot, that we have the same structure, the reason connecting to the heart, bringing out the wisdom and compassion, beyond tribalism, narrow-mindedness. But for that, as much as AI has taught us, we cannot be self-centered. Let the data to talk. Let the data to self-organize itself. Let that, let that idea brought out, wisdom brought out, compassion brought out, so that we have a broader understanding synthesizing ideas for the betterment, not to be tribalized, self-centered, egocentric, but beyond that. And that's the challenge that I see. And I see that's connecting to my three books. Well, that's my reflection. And the current state of our being here. So, in silence, when our mind is calm and quiet, call it samadhi, the state of samadhi. Using whatever we have as understanding, knowledge, and be at the state of samadhi, calm and quiet mind. Have a silent mind, no mind. Then, Things start to self-organize. It's like the waves are perturbation, you know, too busy, confusion. But when we stop using our mind, wave get less turbulent, and we can see clearly down deep the ocean and connect to the root, so that the ideas can self-organize itself instead of just focusing on small part um, disturbances that you may have in our mind. So let's practice this idea, Shida Samadhi Panya, right conduct, calm and quiet mind, and bring out the wisdom. It will synthesize itself on its own as much as human being came on this earth with that creative source that we have it in ourselves. So find that, connect to that, and expand our imagination and find the path into the future. Thank you.